Are you getting too many no's and not enough yeses in your enrollment conversations? If you simply say, invest in my coaching program, that's a start. But over the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can increase the chances of getting your potential clients to take the step and part with their money. My name is Jeanette Cazella, and I'm the founder and president of the International Association of Professional Life Coaches, where we give life coaches visibility, credibility, and business training so they can have profitable businesses. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three ways that you can increase your chances of getting a yes in your next enrollment conversation. The first way is, are you making it easy for them to say yes? For example, are you removing obstacles that are causing them to hesitate? Let's say you've hooked the right potential client, but she just isn't quite at that income level um, that she needs to be at in order to invest in your program. First, you wanna determine if she is in fact your perfect candidate or would it give her results that she dearly desires and just needs an easier budget-friendly way to make the commitment? If your answer is yes, and especially if you already have had other clients do it and prove it's possible, then consider making it easier for her to invest. And here are two ways that you can do that. You can offer an early bird pricing, which is like a reduced rate for the first so many participants. So this is good for if you're doing a group program. Uh, the second way is payment plans. So if a person can't commit to the lump sum that you charge, you can break it down into payment plans. And of course, that also works for group programs. And of course, payment plans offer a win-win situation for both you and the potential client because she gets your program and you get the sale. Now, the second way is that uh, there, there should be a clear personal reason for why they should sign up. If you've made sure that your ideal client can instantly see the big benefit in signing up for your program at this particular point in time, it's gonna be better and easier for them to sign up. Um, even one single reason can flip them from fence sitting to taking action. For example, uh, let's say they have a huge overwhelming task, something that they're worrying about that needs to be done by a specific date. Or they can have two hours of personal one-on-one -on -one coaching with you if they pre-order your say $97 hard copy signature book. So the point is that you need to identify what immediate or nearly immediate achievement you can safely promise that will leave your potential client feverishly trying to put together the funds for your program. Now, the third way, let's look at this same problem from a different angle. Does your offer give a clear reason for why they should sign up now? And there needs to be some urgency. Otherwise, they may be thinking about it for months. Um, it may not be urgent as far as a specific date that they need something for, but you need to make it urgent so that they will give you that yes. Now, many coaches offer a special lower price if the client signs up on that phone call. And that's a good way to go, but if it sounds too salesy or overused for you, then you can try something else. For example, a single really awesome bonus is, that's only available for a limited time or for a, a limited number of them can prompt people to take immediate action. Um, or if your pro program is closing soon, uh, you can send out email reminders that um, going, going, gone, you know, if you don't sign up today, you won't be able to. Um, and that also goes for if you have a special event that uh, they need to sign up for. There's usually a deadline for those kind of things. So those are three ways that you can increase your chances of getting a yes on your next enrollment conversation.